Hey, how are you? I hope things have been good. I feel like, me personally, my views on video games, what I think of them, and the reason why I don't go on them, are really aggressive, quite... I'm very against video games, and anytime I mention this to people, people always pick this up. They say that, damn, you are really against it. But why? I'm gonna tell you a story on basically what my life was like when I wasn't against video games and when I was addicted. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. You see, when I quit, there were so, so many people that told me, including friends, people I used to game with, so many people told me, it's okay to play video games. It's fine, it's okay. It's okay to play video games for one hour a day. It's okay, it's fine. And from the moment someone told me that, I instantly stopped trusting them. I do not trust anyone who tells me it's okay to play video games. Because effectively, that is the exact same as saying, it's okay to waste time. It's fine, you can waste your time, it's all right, it's fine, but I will overtake you. Now, already you may be thinking like, damn, yeah, I am quite aggr I'm quite aggressive, I'm quite against video games. And the reason is, is because there was a time where I would make any justifiable excuse just to have a reason to go on video games, to play anything. And it was bad. It was really, really bad. I was even, I got to the point where like, I would skip out with time with friends just so I could just game a bit more. I would neglect so many important aspects of life, my physical health, my mental health, just so I could go a little bit, spend a little bit more time on games. And it got to the point where like, I admired like the game that I was playing. So like, sometimes I'd be like, wow, this is like beautiful. It's like, I'm on a whole different world. It was almost as if I was in love with it. And it was really bad. Like there was a time and I don't want to say this, but cause it's kind of sucky and it's not very nice. But there was a really dark time where I wasn't, I'm not living where I am now. It was quite a while ago where we didn't have such a great place, but I had a room and in that room I had an Xbox and that it was the only thing I did. Only thing I did. I would spend like, before I got home from school, I was allowed to go on it for a bit. But then when my dad and like my family went to sleep, I would make, it was in my room, so I would just go in it super, super quietly. I would make sure my door is locked and I would make, and I would spend from 8 p.m. until literally school, literally time to get up for school. And it got to the point where like during the day I was thinking about how I would be able to stay up longer to go on the Xbox longer. It was something I was really addicted to and it was Destiny 2. And it was bad, <laughs> like, I, it was bad, bad. It got to the point where, like, even just leaving my door, opening my door, because I had quite a squeak, opening my door to go to the bathroom, I was worried that the, that my family upstairs would, would hear, and they would come down, and they would see I'm still gaming. So I just basically never went out to piss. I just pissed in a bottle in my room. That's how bad it got. So I'm not talking from, like, someone who's saying, like, oh, video games are bad, like, uh. I'm talking from experience on how much time it wasted for me as a teenager as a young teenage guy how much time video games took away from me how much time it took from me wow it is windy holy it is windy it took so much time away from me and i regret so much you know i looked at some stats 93 percent of teenage guys go in video games game right and then 86 percent of teenage girls also are gamers. That is quite a high number. I bet you're surprised. I bet you're quite surprised about that. I was, especially about like the guys I kind of expected, but the girls, I didn't expect that number to be as high. But the thing is those stats, those numbers, they're quite old. So they aren't going to be the same. They're, they're, they're like a couple years old now. However, do you think that those numbers have decreased or do you think those numbers have actually increased? I know for a fact that they have and I don't even want to see what those numbers are. So how did I stop? How did I quit? To be honest, the reason I love video games so much was not only do you get a sense of progress out of it, so you're leveling up in something, that progress you make trying to get to the best you can in that certain game you're playing, that sense of progress is a great feeling. And not only that, but the friends that you meet online they're lovely people now and i still know them today i haven't been in contact with them because i just i haven't I've, i don't use my phone and 
I also quit video games, so I don't really have a way of to contacting them. But the friends that you make online, it was nice. Especially for me, who was excluded from my friend group and didn't have that social aspect. So I turned to video games because it gave me that social aspect and it, not only that, it gave me a sense of progress. So how I stopped video games is I switched what I was doing on video games to the real life. Yeah, I started to view real life as a video game, that I'm in this game called life. And like in normal video games, you have to spend time and effort leveling up to actually start enjoying the game. And you start enjoying the progress as well. Always looking for the next thing that you can level up to. It's the exact same with real life. If you don't spend enough time and effort on you, then you aren't going to make any progress and you're not going to enjoy life. When I started to think of it like that, I started to slowly change from the virtual world to the real world. This game called life. So that's what you need to do. You need to start leveling up your in-game character in life. It feels really weird to say that since I don't like video games. I'm really against them because of how much it sucked when I used to be addicted to them. I, man, I look to my past. The li if, if I could have a conversation with little me, young me, God, I would just tell him to get the fuck off. <laughs> get the fuck off the Xbox and start going outside. But I also can't bring myself to hate him. So you need to start leveling up in this game known as life. And there are other things that you need to do as well. You need to find that social aspect. Video games gave me that sense of a social, a social life the online world, where I made friends online, because I didn't have many in the real world. You need to do the opposite. You need to start making more friends in the real world and not really online. That, or you just meet up with the online friends and make them, you know, real life friends. Either one. You know, when you meet, like, when you see, like, those clips of people who have been online friends with other people and then they meet in real life and they make a real friendship out of it, that is such an amazing moment, which you could do the same. See, I, if I think back to specifically the moment that I stopped going on video games, specifically the moment that I quit, it would align at the same period of time that I started meeting other people on self-improvement. Other people. I now spend more time with those people than online. You need to replace the satisfaction that video games are giving you right now with things in the real world. And the only way to do that is by starting to leveling up your character in this real world, in this game of life. That's a really weird way to put things, and I have no idea if you understood that, but I hope you did. I've been trying to make longer videos, so if you like this video, another one will pop up in the corner, and I would be really appreciative if you clicked on this, because this could help you as well. And if you're not subscribed, then there's a chance that you will never find this channel again. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, we all know what time it is. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.